Photo effects take place when the electromagnetic radiation is absorbed by a matter in the visual range. They include the photoelectric effect. The photoelectric effect is the emission of electrons from a matter when it is exposed to the incident light. This phenomenon was discovered by Hertz in 1887. The quantitative analysis of photo effect was performed by A. G. Stoletov and explained by Albert Einstein in 1905. For this experiment, Stoletov used a two-electrode vacuum gas bulb. The light, also ultraviolet radiation, gets into the cathode through the quartz glass. The voltage between the electrodes can be regulated by a potentiometer. The passing current was measured by a milliampere meter. As the result, three laws of photo effect were discovered. First, the number of electrons emitted from the metal surface per unit of time and the intensity of the electric photocurrent are directly proportional to the intensity of the absorbed light beam. Second, the maximum photoelectron's kinetic energy, that is the maximum initial velocity of the emitted electrons, is independent of the intensity of the light, but depends on the frequency of the light or the wavelength and the properties of the electrode surface. Third, for a given metal there exists a certain minimum frequency or minimum wavelength below which the photoelectric effect cannot occur. This frequency is called the threshold frequency. For example, the small wavelengths of such metals as copper, iron, barium and some others correspond to the threshold frequency. Therefore, these metals are insensitive to the ultraviolet radiation. The threshold frequency of alkaline metals, potassium, sodium, cesium, is higher, and they are even sensitive to the visible radiation. In conclusion, we should add that the photoelectric effect is used to convert radiant energy into electric energy, electric current. Devices based on the photoelectric effect are called photocells.